Today's video, we're going to be talking about if the market crash has stopped happening. So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. So what we're going to be talking about in today's video is basically if the market crash has stopped happening and, you know, is it safe to go and buy players for weekend league? Can you go and buy players and sell them next week and not lose any coins? Are there any cards you should be wary about? Are there any cards you can go and buy and probably make money on because of a lack of market crash happening? Basically, we're going to answer a lot of questions about teams and the overall position of the market. So this basically video comes up because in the last week, we've actually seen a lot of the market rebound. Um, a lot of heroes have gone back up, a lot of icons have gone back up, a lot of gold cards who are top tier cards have gone up. But why has this happened if the market only drops every single week? So the main problem we have this week is that these cards just aren't being used much. And on top of that, there's way more supply of these cards than demand, which means these cards have become a lot cheaper, a lot faster than the RTKs, which were already becoming cheap because they're losing games but they were starting to rebound. So basically, what happens is, you've got to think, if you've got a fancy new team, you know, you've got maybe you put yourself like a car or something like that, and then these cards come out, basically these cards, in comparison to Road to Knockout stages, especially bear in mind these cards aren't going to be upgraded, just aren't being good enough to go and replace people in people's teams. For example, these cards aren't good enough to go and replace heroes. They're not replacing gold cards. They're not replacing RTTKs. They're not replacing old team of the weeks. And I think the main reason this comes down to is that the upgrades aren't really that crazy. Like, if we go look at the likes of Fakir, we can see that his upgrade is okay, but it's, you know, it's nothing for the average player. It's, you know, a plus three on the dribbling, a plus two on the pace, plus three on shooting. Passing probably to the average player isn't that interesting. These aren't really that much better than a you know a first or second in form. In fact, I'd be quite surprised if the odd player here gets a first or second in form, and the card's probably as demanded slash as good. And basically, what this means is we're about to go have another week of this. And because Team 1 isn't very demanded, there is very, very unlikely that the cards get heavily scaled off Team 2. That's a very rare thing to happen. Team 1 and Team 2 are normally the same sort of um, upgrades, it's just different players. So, because Team 1 isn't demanded and gold cards are literally rebounding, I can go and grab a card like the likes of De Bruyne. Now, what I can show you previously is De Bruyne would have dropped for the road to the knockout stages. You can see he's dropped from... where can we see? So, there's road to the knockout stages. Would have dropped there. And you can see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And you can see, as of the new promo coming on Friday, De Bruyne hasn't dropped whatsoever. In fact, De Bruyne has actually rebounded 14k. He was 138, and now he's 152. And he's going to keep rebounding till Thursday. Something also to look at is the SBCs that EA's released this week haven't been crazy enough for people to go and panic sell stuff. The 86 plus icon SBC, you'd imagine, well, surely that's going and dropping the likes of the heroes. Well, it just isn't, because icons and heroes are relatively interchangeable. We can see that the likes of Morientes, as of the SBC coming out, has literally gone up 3k, rather than a drop which is what we saw last year with the Hero SBC. So, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to see this till probably at least Friday. The market's going to rebound from, you're probably watching this on the Wednesday to Friday. You're going to see a small blip on Friday, but I would say the back end of Friday will probably be more expensive than the early end of Friday. Because all we're going to do is get another team of this, and no one cares about these cards. Like, if I was to go and ask you how many of these cards are in your uh, team compared to how many rotated knockout stages, the answer should be you should have more rotated knockout stages in your team than Rule Breakers because these cards aren't very well demanded. And again, we're about to go into a week two of these where these aren't very, uh, you know, a week two of this promo. A lot of people have actually gone and asked me and said, you know, when are we going to go and buy these cards? You know, are they going to do the same as Road to Knockout stages? And the answer to that is no, they're not going to do the same as Road to Knockout stages whatsoever because they're just not demanded. In fact, if you look at last year's trend, these cards will all drop till next Monday, which means they're going to go out of packs on Friday and they'll keep dropping over the weekend. You know, it happened, I think, to 13 out of the 15 players last year. The only cards that rebounded were Diaby, because he had a link to the likes of... Who is it? Uh, Rule Breaker and Cuckoo SBC card. And Rudiger, because it was heavily backed by the pros. So I would imagine all of these cards would drop. And if I did have any predictions, maybe Navas rebounds because of Tellers. But there'll probably be new SBCs next week, so I can't imagine Tellers will rebound any longer from Friday through to about Sunday, I'd say. So, um, yeah, I basically, I don't bat the demand on these cards whatsoever. 
you were to invest in anything, you would literally invest in Hernandez and Herrera, anticipating some MLS SPC or objective down the line. Because um, obviously there's a lack of good MLS players. So that's be the only player to go for, and it's a relatively long-term play because, you know, it's a bit of a waiting game. Be like if I was going to buy one of the MLS heroes, I'm literally just going to wait till uh, some SPC comes out. So as a result of me hammering on about how underwhelming this car team is, basically what I now need to tell you is, you can go and buy anyone that's been rebounding from Friday, I would say with confidence, and you can hold on to them until next Thursday. Which means you can go and buy a car today and Wednesday, and you can go and sell them next Thursday. And I would generally say, as long as, do you know you have the 86 plus icon SBC this week? As long as the SBC equivalent of that next week. So let's hope, let's say maybe a, even a hero SBC, I feel like wouldn't really do that much. But um, if we're going to get like another one of these, we're going to get a hero SBC or something like that. As long as it isn't too big and too OP. So for example, I don't know, maybe a draw hero SBC at 50k. That'd probably be a little bit too OP. Hero SBC at 200k, I think we should be okay. Um... And uh, yeah, so maybe a cheap baby icon SPC, maybe that would drop the market. But you should be very safe until next Sunday, because we don't expect anything by Sunday. And I'd even say, if you wanted to gamble that we won't get a very good play, you know, again, maybe they're going to repeat this again. You're also good holding through to next Thursday. So obviously it kind of is dependent on content. But let me go through a few of the cards you guys should be very safe to buy. First of cards you should be safe to buy are relatively demanded old team of the weeks. So you've got the likes of Raphael Liao, and if I'm not wrong, Liao should have been rebounding quite, quite nicely since Friday. Yep, Friday he was 96, now he's up to 110. You can also go and look at the likes of, obviously he might go and bag himself a team of the week, and I'm sure you'll know by the time you're watching. But the likes of Valverde, Valverde again, has been obviously demand for La Liga teams, but I still think he's a very well-demanded card. He's gone up 40k this week, so I'd say the first thing you can look at is old team of the week cards. These are brilliant. The second thing you can look at is ideally cards that are around about 100k, gold cards who are 100k and above. So the cards I wouldn't be so confident on would be maybe cards who are like 40, 50k. So gold cards who are 100k plus would be good. But you see the likes of Valverde, I mean it's not actually been too bad of an example because the Liga cards have actually been demanded. But you see how this is a very flat pattern. A very flat pattern would be, you know, not very good to see. You know, obviously worse if we'd probably go and look at a card like Anthony, which I'd imagine has just been dropping and dropping. Basically the cheaper the card, you know, we're seeing a lot of stuff rebound. I mean, this Anthony is literally crashing uh, day in and day out. So, cards, 100k and above, you're looking good on. You're looking good on your De Bruyne. You're looking good, I mean, like we showed earlier in the video. You're looking good on Van Dyke's, Vinicius Juniors, uh, Kante's, and so on and so on. But I wouldn't look at stuff that's like 50, 60k and above because you're looking a little bit more risky. I mean, if we go like Gretzka up right here, he'll probably be a perfect example. There we go. That even a card... Um, 50, 60k aren't looking too good because they are dropping every day. So we've got old team of the weeks. We've got ourselves gold cards over 100k. I'll uh, throw road to the knockout stages. You're good till next Monday. I would sell before next Monday. I made a video earlier in the week on why road to the knockout stages are brilliant. And I'm not going to lie, they have kind of held to their point in terms of they didn't drop with the Icon SPC. I'll be honest, not much did drop with the Icon SPC that was well demanded. Um, but yeah, wouldn't buy rule breakers. Would buy old team of the weeks. Would buy golds over 100k. Um, you can look at buying one to watches. Do expect though, that there's a few one to watches who do get upgraded this week. Do expect them to actually drop in price once they're upgraded. The reason for this is because of something called artificial demand, which I don't have a graph of. But basically, it means that there's more people invested in the card than actually go and demand the card. Um, I think that'll be about, about wrap it up. Uh, in terms of investments, just I guess a quick little thing to mention. Fodder would be nice to pick up probably from Friday, presuming we don't get another icon pack on Thursday. You'd be looking at the likes of 86s, 87s, 88s, and 89s. And look to pick that up on Friday at about 9pm. But other than that, I think uh, that's all she wrote. Oh yeah, you could also buy the current team of the week uh, on a Saturday about a 3pm to 6pm BST. That's another little card you can go and buy for your team. But yeah, the overall consensus is safe with your teams until next Thursday because the current promo is rubbish and nobody cares about upgrading their teams. That's been that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.